Hi, I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of the book, That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I provide education, information, and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise, injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. In this video, we're going to talk about FHL tendonitis. The FHL is a tendon in your foot and ankle called the flexor hallucis longus. It runs along the inside of your ankle and basically all the way down into your big toe or your great toe and helps to flex it or bend your great toe. Now this is a pretty uncommon injury for most people, but you see it a lot in dancers, like ballet dancers, who are constantly standing on their toes, basically on point. And that tendon can get irritated at the toe, but it can also get irritated along the inside and back of the ankle. And it's an overuse injury. It's not something that happens with one specific event. So it's a nagging pain that comes on over time, especially after long training sessions. So a lot of the time, we're gonna, in the office, do an exam, maybe get x-rays just to rule out bone spurs or anything like that, but then we're gonna basically try to recreate the symptoms along that tendon, you know, bending the toe back and forth, having you flex it down against our resistance, keeping you from bending your toe down, and see if it recreates your pain. If it does, Fortunately, most of the time, the treatment is not surgical. It involves things like rest, unfortunately, taking some time out of dance, things like ice to that area, things like anti-inflammatory medications, sometimes taping or even physical therapy to let that tendon rest and do some things to calm it down, but still doing some things to strengthen the ankle, take stress off that tendon, things like that. Maybe things like fixing uh, you know, problematic techniques, things like that. Ultimately though, the vast, vast majority of the time, this doesn't need surgery. So we typically don't get an MRI unless we're concerned that the diagnosis might be wrong. But fortunately, again, you can usually get over this without surgery. Okay, have you had flexor hallucis longus tendonitis or FHL tendonitis? How'd you get it? Was it dance and ballet and something else? Or did it come on for some other reason? How did you get over it? What did your doctor do to diagnose it? And how did you get over it? I'd love to hear your experience. In the comments below this video, tell us about it. I can't answer specific questions that you leave in the comments for legal reasons, but I'd love to hear your experience. And honestly, I think people watching this from all around the world would love to hear your experience as well. I also would love to hear the biggest injury challenge you're dealing with, whether it's FHL, tendonitis, or any other problem. In the description box below this video, the very top link will take you to a page on my website where you can write in great detail the challenges you face with your injury. That information helps me design videos, articles, courses, and programs to better help you. So definitely click that link. It takes 30, 45 seconds to give me that information so I can better help you. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise, injuries, injury treatments, injury prevention, even access to Ask Dr. Uh, Ask Dr. Guy or Live videos that I do on my website or I do on YouTube periodically, subscribe to my video channel. Click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of the page and they'll get delivered directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope this video was helpful and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.